Hello everyone, my name is NerdBuilder and I'd like to welcome you back into another episode of Mine Colonies. I hope you're having a great day so far. So, since our last episode, we we have made a few additional changes to some of the mod packs, which you could see in the description down below some of the changes we made. One of the major ones was I substituted out the Survive mod for the Tough as Nails mod. I, I tried to play around with the settings and the config file for the survive mod and unfortunately it didn't uh work well and we were dying uh pretty quickly and we were getting very hot you know just by like walking around so it became a an inhibitor which i really wanted the mod pack to work out but it was really making things a lot more difficult so i ended up scrapping it out we ended up installing the tough as nails which definitely does make it more difficult while there's not a stamina component. You know, we still need to drink water and our health actually will not heal unless we have a uh, full water health. And you can see right now we're getting a little hot. <laughs> so let me, while we're talking, run over here and jump in the water. But in order to heal, we do need to have a full water bar or water, like a, you know, a thirst bar. And our food source needs to be full. So it definitely adds a little bit more of complexity into, you know, surviving and that and dealing with like, you know, the raids and the battles and that. So the other thing I really wanted to show off, which I've been meaning to do this for a while, and I'm glad I finally uh, got, had a chance to do it, was we actually built a lava farm now. And you can see a couple of the cauldrons here are uh, full and we, we have a good amount here so you know we're using some dripstone block and then some you, you know st I, I call them, i just call them stalagmites <laughs> i know there's a more uh the minecraft calls it something different but yeah essentially we do have lava in above this block right here and the, the lava will actually pool into you know into these cauldrons uh here over time so i've been you know kind of doing a little bit of like an afk to an extent just kind of hanging out over here and grabbing the lava where i can most of them seem to be working some of them uh not so much so i might have to do like a little bit of a follow-up because you can see some of them are dripping some are dripping faster than others it, it would appear there but so far <laughs> just to show you know again we have a double chest full here and then we have about three quarters you know a little bit more than three quarters of a double chest full of lava buckets here and it's getting dark so let's uh run and sleep very quickly and that seems like an excessive amount of lava buckets <laughs> and you can see on my inventory down below you know i have uh you know about 24 more uh buckets there and you know our iron farm has made things a lot easier but the reason the reason that i'm doing this and it's about it, we're about halfway done with what we're going to be doing down there i'm actually going to put a bunch of blast furnaces down there and you know maybe some regular furnaces and we're going to use the lava in, in lieu of using coal because this will be a little bit more like self-sustaining so that's why when i can i try to go down and fill up the uh the buckets uh, and take the lava out so we'll run and do that very quickly and I do have my armor off you know as you saw in the introduction because we are in the middle of summer and it is very warm up here oh there's actually a mob spawn there and we'll grab that bone again we've been low on like bones and arrows and all of the like there and also we put a new guard tower in this week as well over here so now we do have three guard towers three guards and They've been wandering away, but we have been building iron golems, which do, I, I would recommend, you know, if you have the ability to do so to build or to build some iron golems. And they're probably, there's a few that have drifted up there. Eventually we're going to put a fence around over here for security purposes, but hopefully that'll contain the golems more. But again, I'm not so worried about burning iron just because again, we have so much of it now that we have a farm. So pretty much just unlimited iron. But let me just see if I could see any of the golems. I know that they've been wandering around and some of them have unfortunately disappeared or fallen in the places and gotten stuck. But the golems will help, at least from what I've seen with the raids, which is great. I'm not seeing them up here. I think they do kind of wander off because, again, like they would attach to a village. But this is not, it, this doesn't, you know, the game doesn't recognize this as like a, a village for the mechanics of an iron golem. But the, um, the golems do help with raids so you know there were situations like we had a raid 
during one of our live streams this week where a golem just went and it was a barbarian attack, but just wrecked, just wrecked uh, four barbarians in a, uh, in a row. So it went down from like five remaining down to one within 10 seconds. So, you know, we're definitely going to look to build some more. I know they keep wandering off, but I think when we get some more uh, fences up in that, it's going to help to, you know, make sure that we're keeping them within our boundaries here. But let me just run down here and let's collect some of this. We're going to have to make some more uh, buckets, but the iron farm is going pretty well too. I, you know, I've been managing the snag like a ton, a ton of iron. I've been able, I've been able to stack, like I get a whole chest full of like between poppies and iron and I have had to take some out, you know, and that's just, you know, I'm getting like more than half of a double chest in like, you know, maybe like an hour. Um, I would say just about give or take there. And yeah, I'm just going to keep filling this up. So every so often I'm going to come down here and we're probably going to put like another chest up there and then maybe even go up that high. I'm not sure yet, but that way we have like a ton of iron, or I'm sorry, of lava buckets and we'll be able to really, you know, be able to do like a whole blast furnace area down here. So smelting is going to get a lot easier, especially because a lot of the builds now have been taking a lot of stone. And, you know, stone burns through a lot of coal. Like we've been burning through coal like a lot. So that way we can just kind of use charcoal and and coal for torches. I thought about I thought about having the restaurant use lava buckets, but then my concern with it is it's I feel like it's gonna be wasteful because obviously, you know, it's not something that you could just turn on and off. Like, you know, even if she receives like a couple pieces of steak, you know, like the unfortunately the lava bucket's gonna deplete. So you may have her continue to use wood and you know, unfortunately, you know, we could have, you know, where we're putting these into like the warehouse, but I'm not so sure, you know, because again, that would be like something that we'd have to check on on a regular basis. So we'll see. It's something that I'm considering just be, but you know, she, I don't think she gets large quantities of things at a time and we have so much food in there already. And I've just been having her burn some spruce wood because we have like so much uh, spruce wood. So I'm just kind of, I'm thinking that it's a good idea just to, you know, maybe just let her keep using wood, but we'll definitely look to expand this out a little bit more. And I'd like to have like a couple rows of these just to, you know, again, we'll never have to worry about, you know, with coal having like coal issues or that anymore. So, and we're getting very hot down there because of, I guess all the lava and that, but it's also that time of day. This area up here seems to like, especially be hot. You know, I did mess with the config file for Tough as Nails because we were it was happening quite frequently that we were like walking around in that. But the settings that I have it to seem to be a lot more reasonable. And then and we're, we should almost be through summer, hopefully. So it'll be coming up shortly there. But anyways, you know, one of the major themes this week in our live streams was uh, beefing up our security and our defense because we've been getting some pretty nasty raids, uh, pirate ships with four spawners on them and you know they've been very difficult to battle and you, you know we the third guard has helped and having some of the iron golems around has has helped as well but i feel like it's a good time to make sure that we're that we're beefing up our security even further so two of the things that we're going to be doing coming up and well the first thing that will occur in this episode is we're actually going to build the barracks today which, you know, we do have it researched and, you know, essentially we just need the block now. And, you know, later on, you know, during our upcoming live streams, we're going to be putting a, like a cobblestone wall fence up, especially in the northeast portion up here and probably mostly around the, like coming down the coast here and then maybe cutting off right here. So our boundary does go a little ways down and, you know, we have a lot of room to develop over here still and, you know, we've been taking this back little by little, but we, we definitely have a lot of room to, you, you know, uh, down here to build more things. So, but I'm thinking about putting a wall kind of going up to maybe about here, maybe going up because eventually we'll have to move it if we're, you know, if we're going to keep expanding down this way. But I think, I think we're a little ways away still because we have some expansion to do over here. We got some room over here. And while this area is starting to fill up, we do have some more room. And as we take this back as well, I, I plan to put some more buildings over here because I'm, you know, we're planning to eventually put a street in here. So we're going to keep taking this hillside back little by little as we've been doing. 
here. But as I mentioned today, we're going to do the barracks. The fence will come, you know, via the live streams. But my hope with that is just to slow down the, especially like the pirates, um, if they have the four spawners, just to slow them down enough. And, you know, maybe we'll experiment and see if we can do like a, almost like a water, like a collection area where essentially we have them, you know, by water kind of guide them into water and have them fall into a pit and see if we can get rid of them that way. You know, as like a, you know, I was thinking about having on one side of the wall, essentially like a drop pit that we could, you know, essentially the water stream will take them and drop them into a pit. And then we could just on our side have like, you know, a wall up, but then have a, like a slot open that we can go down there and essentially just, you know, take care of them that way. So I've thought about doing that, and when we get the fence up too, I think we're gonna make we're gonna build like a bunch more iron golems, and that way you know maybe they won't disappear. And oh, look at that great timing, the pillagers, there. But anyways, you know we'll ignore them for now. I wish we had a maybe we should make a golem very quickly. Let's see, I've been burning through iron so quickly <laughs> uh, with all the with making all the buckets. I have iron somewhere. They look exactly the same, those two. Um, yeah, let's... Who is down there? Oh, okay, it's just some random person. Let's see, do I have any... I have iron, I think, over here. We're going to have to work on our storage system, too, uh, coming up. So let me grab... So we'll need some iron... I think the easiest way is just to have a golem go destroy them. So let's make a couple iron blocks and making sure that we preserve one because we're actually going to need one for the block. But let's take care of this. I think we need, I think we need four more. Yeah, I think we need four more and I'm going to have to go grab a pumpkin head. So bear with me. We'll take care of these guys very quickly. That way we don't have to do it. Our guards don't have to do it. And that way they're not picking off our our uh, citizens as they're walking around here. So again, a lot of changes going on and we're definitely going to try to beef up security to the best that we can. And actually I should have grabbed some shears while I was over there too. So let's head back over here. But yeah, we'll have to try to get up there. But luckily they're stuck up there because of how high it is. Now let's see, do I have shears in here? I have them somewhere. Because we'll need to carve the pumpkin. I put. Oh, wait. Did I just. I did. Okay. All right. And we managed to pick up a lot of eggs. But let me swap these out here and we'll swap out our build tool very quickly. So we're going to try to get relatively close to the extent that we can, just so the golem will track to them. And then hopefully wreck them instantly. So the iron farm paying off massively. Oh, I think one of them just fell. Oh, do we need more space around? I think we got to have a space around there. So let me hopefully not get detected by them. But let me just, I have a shovel. Oh, and a raider attack too. Are we that close? Or did it take away my ability to make golems since I've been making so many? <laughs> All right, so we're also going to have to take care of the barbarian attack. Huh. I don't know why this is. Could it be these? Well, Countess are tucked in bed. I guess we should be tucked in the bed, too. So we're going to take some damage. All right, we should drink. The other thing I do recommend with the survive mod is to... Um, Filter, like essentially filter or like purify the water. Purify is probably the better word for it. But to essentially purify the water 
And the reason I recommend purifying the water is because you do get like a little bit of like an effect for like drinking like essentially like pond water <laughs> um, that, you know, it kind of, it does drain your, oh, uh, they just disappear. Well, I guess we'll leave that up there for right now as we figure this, as we figure out where they are here. And one of the other things I was playing around with, you know, from suggestions of people in the community was I was uh, playing playing around with having the guards follow us around. So hopefully we'll get a boost here. You can see they turn green. So let me find out where... All right, and we're actually going to have... Yeah, follow. Tight grouping. All right, let's go round up our other guards quickly. Sorry for the decreased frame rate there. But yeah, it looks like the pillagers must have despawned. So I'll take another crack at that iron golem later. <laughs> I think you have to have so much room around on each side, but the problem ended up solving itself. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. And we're going to have, yep, follow. And we'll get our third guard too. Oh, just came like shooting at us. We are moving pretty quick. So hopefully they'll stay in tow. I had a little bit of a bug in the past with this. Where they were they weren't staying like super close by, or they were just kind of like standing there while I was like fighting them. Great. Alright, I see a couple of our people. So let's go investigate, see what's going on. It should be coming from the northeast, so it should be somewhere over here. And we're actually going to try to place the barracks right over here as well. And there's a golem there. We should have a couple in this area because I was really I was building some over here. I was building some over here too because I know this is where we get a lot of attacks from this side. And yeah, there's another one right there. All right, so let's see what we can see. There they are. All right, hopefully our guards are going to be... All right, they're coming. So let's fall back. We want to get near our guards. They might be right near the boundary. Oh, okay, one came shooting over here. Here they are. All right, so hopefully they'll help out here. All right. There we go. Nice. All right. There we go. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Look at that. See, that's what I'm talking about, that iron golem power like that. All right, there they are, the remaining ones. Nice. All right, one raider left somewhere. See, that golem coming in clutch, which is why I definitely want to have, you know, where we can contain them in and make sure that they're not wandering off because they, they pay dividends. Um, they wreck them, which I'm really happy about that they identify them as threats. So there should be one more somewhere. I don't know if it got past us and it's headed up towards the colony. But our guards attacked. Oh, I see the last one. All right, let's try to get over there. Let me drink up very quickly. One more. Yeah, because we got to heal up. All right, hopefully our guards are following right behind us here. We can take down the very last one. Trying to knock down our door. All right, we got to be careful. Sometimes they have that effect where they... 
where they will uh, disable your shield. All right, run. <laughs> oh, Branson. All right. Trying not to die. Yay, there we go. So we have to successfully defeated the latest attack. So again, that's why we've been building iron golems. That's why I want to make sure that we can make it work with having, you know, a bunch of iron golems around us. So that way, you know, they, they help, as you saw in there, and they can do some serious damage, and they do identify them as threats. So definitely like a good supplement to our military there. So, yeah, our major objective today, I know we're getting, it's a little late into the episode to get it started, but our major objective today is that we're going to be building the barracks, which the barracks is going to be a great build because... You know, it's going to give us the ability to essentially hire five more guards at a level one or 10 at a level two. So they're going to house a bunch of a bunch of guards. And there we go. So we made the block. So essentially, you know, as you saw, you need essentially just oak planks around the side, a block, a block of iron in the middle there, and then your builder's tool up top. But the barracks are going to make a huge difference because... You know, we're going to be able to essentially, you know, have our military in, uh, be about, you know, about half the size. So, like, for every civilian that we have, we're going to have someone in the, you know, in our military. So, you know, we're going to have some good coverage, especially in this area where a lot of our attacks come in this area. So, let me just check where our boundary is here. Because we're going to be cutting it close, but I kind of want to try to fit into this area. So let's use the build tool and let's see how big this is. And then again, sorry, I, I should give a flash warning and I'll put one in, I'll put one in the description just in case people are sensitive because these packs tend to make it a little bit, um, y you know, with the, with the, uh, uh, you know, with the blocks, the way that they are. So, okay. So pretty massive, it's a pretty massive build, but it looks like it'll fit well into this area. Here. And again, apologies for the flashing like this. But we can actually probably push it back a little bit more. I'm going to push it over there. Okay. And then let's just see how big this thing is at level five. Okay. So we're not, we're not risking it coming over the side here, which is good. All right, great. So it's not as it's not as massive as I thought it was going to be. But all right, so we're obviously going to be doing a level one, which, you know, it looks pretty basic here. But our guards will be able to sleep here, too. So, yeah, what we're going to do, and I'll have to do some maneuvering, is where is the entrance? Oh, is there a, is there a defined entrance? Well, I think that's a fence gate. It looks like a fence gate. Okay, so they have kind of fence gates on each side. And yeah, so we... It appears to be slightly outside, so we might have to move it up a little bit. It can get weird a little bit. The builder can get a little weird about if it's outside the colony. Or outside the boundaries, you know, of building it. So yeah, so we can probably bring it all the way up to about here. So let's just check the the boundary yeah we're still a little bit over but this one should be right i think that's right on the the boundary okay so that'll be okay we can move it up a little bit we'll be cutting it a little close on this side be careful not to fall off the edge here but yeah we'll be cutting it a little bit close you know that it'll be bordering that house but okay so this will be good so let me, let's slap this down here and let's take a quick look at uh, what we need here. So yeah, not too bad. 35 torches, 25 oak slabs, four oak fence gates, 200 dirt, wow, gravel and an oak fence. So nothing too bad. We'll get Maddox started 
to build on this. And what we'll do is we will we'll cut back in um, at the end of the build for sake of time, but also because again, you know, Maddox has become a lot more self-sufficient because you know from our various you know work buildings. Uh, the, the miner and all that, like a lot of the materials, you know, he already has. So it's just like more specific stuff that we have to gather for him. So I'm going to cut out very quickly. What we'll do is we'll cut back in at the end. We'll take a look at the build, see how it looks. You know, I'm going to have them stop following me around while the build's going on. And we'll just take a look at the building and talk a little bit more about it. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Okay. And we're back. So I had to do a little bit more terraforming because unfortunately where we had it it was getting very very close to the house over here and probably we would not be able to upgrade this house because both of these would be right on top of each other so i ended up doing a little bit of terraforming you know we have a ton of dirt just everywhere so you know stored in our storage area so i had to uh, bring this area up a little bit more and yeah, so this is a, you know, level one barracks here. So a pretty basic structure and something of note. So this is actually going to be the one of the towers that we're going to build. So this will be the first tower here. And you could see right there that we need a red bed, some oak logs, some oak slabs, some torches and some cobblestone. So nothing, nothing too much, but we will have to build. This is almost like the second part of it one of the guard towers. So we're gonna go ahead and build that. So you can see a much smaller work area has been established here. And just to take a look here, just to see what we're looking at with a level two uh, barracks here. So nothing too much, just some red, some red wool, one torch, a couple spruce things. So nothing too difficult. So we'll probably look to upgrade the, the uh, barracks as well is as we get up to level two, we can build another, uh, like a tower. And that way it'll increase the amount of guards that we're going to be able to have. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to back out again and I'm going to let Maddox build one of the towers over here. And then we're going to look to upgrade this, which normally I don't do it in an episode, but I feel like it, it's not that much material. So it would probably be you know, a good idea to get this upgraded. So what we'll do is we'll also upgrade this to level two as well in this episode. So stay tuned. What I'm going to do is we're going to, I'm going to come back in when we finish the tower here and then we'll upgrade here and then that'll be the episode. So stay tuned and we'll be back. And we're back and fall has now officially come. It came just a few days prior to finishing up the upgrade and the second part of the barracks here, the second guard tower. So, you know, you could see on the, in the middle there above the 15, you know, that the climate has definitely cooled off because we've been in like a constant state of hot. And even now when I have full armor on, like I'm, you know, I mean like leaning between cold and, you know, just like regular there. So I got a little ambitious um, here and I finished the upgrade to level two. And I built the second guard tower here, which Maddox just finished up. And, you know, we could see here, oh, you would need like a rallying banner and that that's interesting. But yeah, so for a level three upgrade, which we obviously can't do right now, but something I just want to point out here is that, you know, eventually we will be able to get the option to hire scouts during a raid and that, you know, it'll give you information on the current barbarian position and the last barbarian position. So, you know, I think it requires one gold ingot. You know, it's something that we'll have to like try at some point because, again, we do have some gold ingots laying around to see, you know, what the scouts come back with um, and the positioning and that. But yeah, so the other the other thing I wanted to point out and again, maybe maybe I'll need more research at the university or something, um, because in the mine in the mine colonies wiki. Um, it says that, you know, you can have like essentially five guards per guard, like per guard tower, like per, or like barracks tower. And, you know, we've only been able to hire one and granted there's only one bed. So that makes sense. It, it didn't ask for any more. So I'm not sure if anyone knows, you know, feel free to drop a comment, you know, down below. 
But yeah, right now, because at least on the wiki, you know, it, it's claiming that you can hire, you know, five per barracks, you know, barracks tower, and we're only able to get one. Now I'm just going to head over because I had hired the, um, I had hired the uh, guard for over here. But yeah, so here, uh, manage worker. So we can hire. So Dalton or Dayton, sorry, is a new, he's a new uh, birth recently. So I think it's actually Maddox's child, Walsh, I'm guessing, same last name. And that, but luckily it keeps freeing up a bed space. So we've added two new colonists in this episode. And I actually made some armor and whatnot for, for our newest guard and, you know, a shield and all that. So as soon as he comes up here, but yeah, so it's starting to shape up a little bit. You know, you can see the other two spaces that we have here, even though, you know, you can get a maximum of five. So I'm not sure if maybe it transforms in the middle here. Five towers, like when you get up to level five is obviously had one on each corner, you know, seems to be, you know, the general outline, but it'll be interesting. And there's our newest guard showing up for, for duty here. So let me just give him um, a bunch of stuff that we made there. My inventory is filling up very quickly, but that way he's got everything that he needs. And now we officially have five guards guarding our, co our colony here. And I, I think we're up to 15 people. So not too bad. And, you know, I'll have to take a look at the university research to see because it would be nice to, you know, get a few more guards if at all possible, you know, here. Because, again, it'd be nice to have essentially like a guard for, you know, each civilian and that to help with some of these raids. Because even in between, like, I know, I know this has been a long episode, so I'll wrap up in a second. But the, you know, we, we had a raid from the West and, you know, luckily the guards helped out, but it was, you know, the barbarian raids used to be like maybe three. This one was seven. And it seems like the last couple have been at least like six or seven as well. So something to something to keep in mind, or, you know, like when you're doing your own colony here about like upping defenses. And like I said, we have a lot of other plans coming up to make sure that we're upping our defenses, including, you know, putting up a wall. So we'll be looking to do that you know, upcoming in our live streams here. But yeah, we're going to leave it for here for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our first look here at building the barracks. And not only building it, we upgraded it as well. So, you know, I haven't really done upgrades on, on episodes before, but I figured it might be a good change of pace. And I, I really wanted to get the extra guards in here because again, we've been getting raids a little bit more frequently and that, so we have five guards now. So, but if you did enjoy this episode, please consider dropping a like down below. It really does help out the channel with the YouTube algorithm. And if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's free, doesn't cost anything. And again, it really does help out the channel a lot. And we also have a discord and you know, it's open to everyone. So the, the link to the discord is in my bio. And yeah, so feel free to jump on over there. Like, you know, there's a lot of mine colonies talk and whatnot there. So again, my name is Nerd Builder. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.